What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about Oracle Fusion budgets in General Ledger, not control budgets, reporting budgets. We're going to show you how to get them set up, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do some reporting on them. So let's get after it. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is go to Setup and Maintenance. We're going to go over to the values set for Accounting Scenarios. So put in Scenario. All right, and then we're going to Manage Values, and I'm going to add three. The first one I'm going to call First Estimate. The second one I'm going to call Second Estimate. And the third one I'm going to call Third Estimate. And let's save it, save and close. Notice they're there. Save and close again. And we've got to kick off a process Create Scenario Dimension Members. Now this will run for a little bit, but I sped it up. So let's go ahead and submit it. And yeah, I sped this up a bit. Because it's a vision instance, it takes a bit of time. Now what we'll do is we'll go over to the General Accounting ca uh, Dashboard, and then I'm going to go in and we can look at the different scenarios that we just created so there's first estimate second second estimate third okay and I added another one called the approved all right so let's go ahead and exit out of here and go back and let's go into the general accounting dashboard over to the right to the menu and we're going to download the spreadsheet and there's the spreadsheet let's right click it and set it to be unblocked and we'll open it up and we're going to log in All right, the first thing you want to do is give it a run name. Some thing that makes sense. I'm just using that for now. And then we're going to choose the budget name. And you'll notice the ones that we created in the accounting scenarios. So I'm going to choose the approved annual. I'm going to add some rows so that I have 12 and I'm going to copy the ledger all the way down. Then I'm going to go over to this already ready baked bit of budget, copy it, and then I'm going to paste formulas. All right, but the calendar period is different. So I'm going to have to update that and I'll update that real quick. I'll just speed that up. Okay. So basically we have here company 1021, 62101 is rent expense, cost center 111, and intercompany zeros for 22,000 per month. To cost center 111, to rent expense, etc. All that is set. Unique name. Each time it has to be unique. Let's go over to create budgets next step is to hit upload okay notice the number and it has all been successfully uploaded notice there the status viewer just to make sure everything's okay all right let's minimize that and for this, just this one, we'll go take a quick look. So let's go look at the, the details. Let's put in the accounting periods from January to December. USD total, not actual, but approved. So we'll change the scenario. I'll put all companies, all accounts. Make it easy. 
all call centers, and all intercos. Everything's set, let's hit search, and there you go. There's our 22,000s per month, based on the approved annual, all set up. Call center 111, or 1111, whichever. And you can see it's the same as we had in the spreadsheet. 22,000. And that all maps one for one. Now I'm going to show you first estimate, and there's nothing there. See, there's nothing in the first estimate. So now we'll go back to the spreadsheet. Back to all the way to the main screen first. And then we'll go back to the spreadsheet. And we are going to change the run name. It has to be unique. First estimate run. And then we're going to change that to first estimate. And then I've got to set that to upload. So I'll just copy that all the way down. And here I had already set a formula that you can see that you can reach out to another spreadsheet and I'll just change this factor as if you're increasing the budget by 1.25. And notice that it's updated that. So we're changing the next quarter's budget for this particular cost by that factor. So you can reach out to other sheets to work your budget uploads. Same process. All set. And I'm going to go check it. So we're just going to keep loading the other budgets. Let's give this another name for the run, change it to second estimate. We'll go ahead and set this to changed so it uploads. Then we'll go back and change the factor to say something like 0.75. And notice that's changed the budget amount for the second quarter. Which is actually not the second quarter, it's actually the third quarter when I think about it. Second estimate. So we'll upload that. And it's set. Click OK. And we'll do one more for the third estimate. Again, change the budget name. Set the lines, the rows to changed so they upload. Let's go over to our factor and let's do 1.8. And notice it's up at 39,000 or whatever. All right, save it. Set that to changed and upload. So that's it. All three budgets, budget scenarios, accounting scenarios have been set in the system and now they can be checked, verified. So we'll go back to the accounting dashboard, we'll go back and inquire, we'll set the same parameters. January through December. All companies, all accounts, all call centers. And let's go change our scenario. And we already saw approved, so I'll show it to you again. Here's our approved. That was our original upload, 22,000. Next up, we'll do first, which there was nothing the last time we checked. So first estimate. 
right? Now that's at 27,000. And let's go for second estimate. That should drop down now. There you go, 16,000. And last but not least, we'll do third estimate. Search it up, and now we're back up to the high numbers. So all three budgets, four budgets, including the annual approved, so you don't want to be changing your annual approved, you want that to stay set in stone. All right, we'll take that back to the beginning. Okay, so I've taken the whole thing a step further and I am here in Excel in SmartView and I want to just demonstrate real quickly. This is a horrible example because you wouldn't put all these budgets together in the same column, but I just want to show them because they're here. So you'd eventually have something to the effect of an actual versus the original approved. And then as the first quarter expires, you bring in your first estimate. As the second quarter expires, you bring in your second estimate, get rid of your first estimate. So you would build uh, analysis reports, comparison reports based on this budget data. And each one, now this budget will not get all completed at the same time. This would be revised as one is going into the third quarter. But this is basically it. By creating these accounting scenarios, you have an actual, by definition, I created an approved annual, I created a first estimate, I created a second, created a third, then I loaded up the individual budgets for one particular cost. You can see it's rent expense here, 6201, it's rent expense. And here's how these will show up in columns. You can take that budget data that you've integrated through your spreadsheets to these different budget examples and you can, you know, sky's the limit in terms of where you go, but that's the bottom line. So I hope this part clarifies why you're doing these different budget or accounting scenarios. And that's how you do it through Oracle Fusion. You have accounting scenarios, which are in essence, different budgets. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.